Hi, Poppy. How's it going? Hi, Rafi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, thanks for taking the time out to talk to me. Congrats on the series. <laughs> it's wild. Oh, thank you so much. Love you. Love Out Magazine. Up here, we love you back too. <laughs> um, just to get things started, I was wondering what uh, the genesis of your involvement with the series was. How did you learn about the role and what exactly was it that drew you in and what made you want to play Greta? Um, it was, you know, at first the show was quite uh, was quite secretive when they started filming and so you know it's like it's shot under like they had a pseudonym for a while for during filming they really didn't disclose a lot of details <laughs> the Rachel Weiss of it all that. <laughs> and so actually when I first got the appointment in my inbox I actually passed on it at first because like there wasn't even like a script to read it was very just like here's the character description and like I think for me especially as like an Asian like migrant person I like kind of like locked on to being like okay is this is like an uh a character who's like playing kind of like a housekeeper of sorts and I kind of was like okay that's like that's checking certain boxes in my mind that I'm like maybe pass mm -hmm. and then um actually Alice and Sean uh reached out to like have a zoom call to and they also well two things happen they reached out to like talk to me in person or via video and they also sent me at the, the first three scripts of it um, and that kind of changed everything because I was yeah. like, I was like, this character is actually this like very strange creative art weirdo, like <laughs> there's so many layers to her. Um, I think in talking to them and like, uh, Greta is a new character that was not in the original Cronenberg. And so kind of like what they envision as her role in this world and sort of like her kind of bearing witness and being outside of this like hyper privileged and elitist like rich on rich on rich world um as like yeah as um in in a role that I think is, is like historically invisible labor you know working in the service industry and stuff like I see like I see her as using that as her superpower to be like I can I can navigate through this world unnoticed and like complete my own agenda which is a freaky agenda <laughs> strange um, so I think that, that, that made me very excited about it. And especially reading the full script of it, I was like, I've never read anything like this. Um, each of the characters is so strange and unhinged, <laughs> and, like the world is so like striking and gorgeous and dysfunctional. Um, so yeah, that was kind of the, my first intro and also yeah. Alice Birch. Yeah. Glad it worked out because... Yeah, and it was wild and it was very entertaining to watch. So, <laughs> and you did mention the Rachel Weiss of it all. So, I have to ask about working with, you know, a queer icon like Miss Weiss, especially since she's done so many queer roles throughout her career, like Dead Ringers included now. Yeah. So what was it like working along someone like her? Did you ever any wildest dreams that could be <laughs> doing what you're doing alongside like Miss Rachel Weiss? <laughs> I mean, she's the best. And I actually, <laughs> like, I'm not going to. Actually, you know what? I'm going to claim and take credit for this on behalf of the queer community. Yeah. I told her last week that I was like, Rachel, you know that you are like capital M mother <laughs> slash mommy to yeah. like the entire queer, queer community and also most other people as well. And she was like, maybe she's being humble bragging or something, but she was just like, oh, what? And she was like, explain to me. And I was like, as in, like, I think what made her understand finally, I was like, you know how Pedro Pascal is like daddy right now? Uh -huh. And she was like, yes and I was like you are mommy and she Period. was like light bulb what <laughs> and like she was like but poppy is this just for you or is it actually for the whole core community and I was like I wish it was just for me are you kidding <laughs> like no it's literally everybody um I love that like yeah she's a she's a dream to work with incredible <laughs> Mother. mother. <laughs> yeah. Can you believe I yeah. had to let her know five days ago that you were mother <laughs> to us all? Forever yeah. and ever. 